Most of the patients we see, you think they've done that thing that a lot of people everywhere around the world does is to make themselves look nice for the doctor. And it's only when a child comes in who has had diarrhea for one month and they've arrived the previous night and they've had nothing to eat or drink for two days and they've had five seizures during that day that you suddenly remember where you are. The parents are so stressed and they are so worried and then, you know, you descend on the child and it drips in, lines in, any way you can get something in. And the children you're dealing with are so severely malnourished that you have to do everything so incredibly gently because you can tip a child into heart failure, into fluid in the lungs, pulmonary edema so easily. So it's a real delicate balance. You're not dealing with healthy children who become sick. You're dealing with children who've who already have very, very low reserve. I know, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 محل البيجي هذا مو ذاته وما تمام الله كان مشي ذات محل المو رحت ذات ما كويس There's been a couple of ones, and quite young ones, sort of two or three years old, who have come in and absolutely have thought this is curtains for this one. And uh, luckily we had oxygen, that was when the oxygen arrived, so we slapped the oxygen on, gave all the treatment, and um, by the end of the day the kid was moaning that they wanted to go home, and that is so incredibly pleasurable. When a child starts to annoy you, you know that things are going well. So far, we've um, we've all been sharing the night shifts, and and especially with these severely malnourished children, you you, you have to just be constantly there and balancing, it, giving them enough fluid, with not putting them into heart failure. With at the moment, we're able to do that, but I don't know how much longer we'll be able to work at that kind of pace. <laughs> Let's go.